Hey Leo, welcome to your Venus and Mars love reading. This is for Leo suns, as well as those of you that have your Venus in Leo. And this will cover the time frame of September 6th through October 1st. So Leo, Venus is moving into your sign and she is going to ignite you with passion, with love, with warmth, with a desire for connectivity. And Mars is going to go retrograde on the 9th of September in the uh, sign of Aries, its home sign. So this will create an environment where we don't want to fight anymore. We just want to love and connect. So this is a perfect time for falling in love, reconnecting love, or existing love to grow ever, ever stronger, Leo. So let's pull some cards and see what messages are coming through for you guys as uh, Venus moves through your sign. Ooh, yeah, she is waking your chakras up, Leo. Those lower chakras are being rattled. Awakened intimacy coming through as the overall energy for you, for your uh, romantic experiences and connections, you know. And so uh, for new love coming in or just a brand new relationship that's just happened, woo, woo. You guys are on fire. You are um, just all about each other, okay. Um, and existing connections. There is a new flame that is lighting within both of you as Venus moves through. Um, Leo, this is fantastic energy. Oh my goodness. Let's pull some tarot and uh, see what else comes out with that awakened intimacy. So at the base of the reed, we have Seven of Swords. There's a lot of fear of rejection here. We have Queen of Cups. I'm kind of getting a second storyline. Let me get all of this out. Ooh, Six of Cups, Soulmate Energy. Ooh, in the past, giving and receiving in the mental body, the moon. I'm feeling a lot. I'm feeling a lot. And Leo, some of you, this might be a water sign you are feeling. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, we got the Three of Cups in the future celebration. You are the Ace of Pentacles, person around you coming through as the Hierophant. Hopes and fears, Seven of Coins, that this will all just fall apart. And outcome is the Palace of Cups. Oh my goodness, Leo. This is fantastic. So I have this several, several storylines I'm actually feeling. So just bear with me. Okay, first one. Some of you, there is a water sign in your life or there's a water sign that's about to come in. Oh my goodness. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces right there. You've got it strong with that card, the moon, and then the Six of Cups at the base, okay? So, um, and I say it's either about to come in or it's just come in because we have the Six of Coins in the past. So, um, if this is like something that's just showed up, Leo, it kind of takes you by storm. You're ready to, to commit, to give give to to be there um like whatever you want like you want to give your whole self to this person you um they just inspire you they awaken you okay with the outcome being the palace of cups that's the highest denomination of the cups energy in this deck okay it could represent um, a home or a place but in this particular reading this is talking about you reaching the highest point in the cups energy with this person like a lot of emotion a lot of connection physically emotionally mentally spiritually and that's why you're just you're ready to commit you're ready to give yourself you're ready to move forward okay um, and now other Leos out there in like um, you know really strong long-term existing connections 
you you and your partner like there is some beautiful reignition that's taking place okay you guys are overcoming some hard times whatever that represents for you in your connection and maybe you've had some fear that you guys wouldn't be able to overcome this or, or move beyond this energy and now as uh, you know Venus is moving through Leo it changes everything and where we were fighting we're, we're not anymore we're coming to a place of compromise okay and we're celebrating with each other we're falling in love again we're reaching the height and some of you in existing connections we might be buying a new home okay with the palace of cups right there we might be buying a new home and we didn't think it was going to happen and now here it is it's going to happen and there's that cause for celebration um, and you're ready to go all in and your partner feels like um, wishes have been granted prayers coming true true okay others of you in these existing connections um, maybe there was some money issues and things are shifting and changing and money's going to be okay we're going to be able to pay the bills here which um, when we're no longer worried about 3d matters it allows that love union to really um, come back into focus of your love and connection <clears throat> for each other all right so um lastly leo there may be a brand new connection that's coming in for you in uh you know september as venus moves through your sign i feel a lot of you um this is you know something that just came in like that it's newer maybe not committed and it's going to get committed but for others of you this is a new energy you singles that's coming in and it, it they just offer you their whole cup and it makes you a little afraid here like can i trust this are there hidden motives there's not this is a beautiful soulmate connection and what they offer you is genuine and true and it's an earnest all right so let's see one of your energies coming through as the ten of cups and the other of you as judgment oh my gosh leo yeah um whether existing love or new love coming in you guys are soulmates with six of cups and judgment there and it is time to fall in love and connect quite quite deeply through the emotional body okay um, a lot of happiness and celebration around love and romantic matters for Leo as a Venus moves through your sign and there is fear that it will all fall apart but it, it won't Leo this is beautiful you've been awakened within there's somebody else who feels awakened within by you and it's time to fall in love and it's time to connect and existing connections just growing ever stronger and I really feel some of you are talking about buying a home or moving location and it's just going to happen for you it's it's gonna everything's gonna fall into place for you guys all right so let's pull some more cards Chemistry, deception, and new love. Okay. Leo, do not fear. For those of you where this is a newer love that just showed up or is about to show up, do not fear. Okay. I see you having a lot of fear like. Is this person real um, be with the moon? Like there's a lot of mystery that you're feeling and thinking. They are very honest and real with you. They, they're they coming through as judgment, okay? Um, that's that's coming from the soul. And over here, Ten of Cups, chemistry. Um, this is feeling very passionate. Um, a lot of emotional energy, a lot of sexual energy, a lot of passion, you know, for this person here and that might overwhelm, okay? This is all very honest and true energy. I do see the fear there, but I don't feel it's warranted, especially in these new love connections, okay? And those of you in solid, um, committed, existing connections, this is just talking about how you guys are reconnecting um, your uh, connection, growing ever stronger, ever closer. All right, so let's pull some more romance angels. Uh, 
honeymoon. Release your ex. Okay. Leo, these newer connections coming in, it's like you guys are in the honeymoon phase and it just happens and it comes on quick. All right. It, it really overcomes both of you. And um, this release your ex, maybe some of you have been, you know, trying to hold on to an ex. Um, you know, you're wanting to reconcile with an ex. And then all of a sudden, here's this new love and romance on the scene. And that might be part of what your confusion is. But Leo, if this new person just totally activates you within, maybe set the ex on the back burner for now. And enjoy this beautiful love that's coming in, that's being offered to you, okay? Um, don't say no to a new love because of, you know, a separation being hung up on somebody from the past, like hoping of a reconciliation. And, you know, if you're still talking to this person and trying to work it out, obviously that's a different situation, right? But those of you where you've been in separation for a really long time and this new love is knocking on your door, it is so beautifully aspected, Leo. Embrace it. Oh my gosh, it would be an injustice to you to let this slip away. Just what I see here. And if they ignite you, Leo, that's your sign. Give it a chance. Give it a shot, okay? Now we have a separation and unrequited love. Yeah, Leo, those of you where we are like still trying to be in the past, it that's just not where you belong right now. Spirit's trying to bring you in some beautiful new love. And, um, you know, those of you in these uh, long-term relationships, maybe just different things you guys were going through in the past, you wondered, you know, will we ever recapture? Will we ever get back on track? Oh, yeah, it's happening as Venus moves through your sign. 100%, okay? You guys are falling in love again. And um, what you struggled with in the past, you are absolutely, absolutely overcoming it leo this is a great read and uh especially for new romance coming in leo new love all the way around new love abounds it's time for some new energy new love and releasing the past this is just a general read so you've got to do what you feel is true in your heart but man spirit is bringing leo new love for sure Mixed signals, serious relationship, and heal your wounds. So those of you in these long-term committed, I think you guys have been in a bit of a struggle. We see that the Seven of Swords, but Leo, you guys are overcoming it. You're getting on the same page. Your energy is getting um, back to be quite balanced, and we're falling in love again, and we're growing closer, all right? Things are really balancing out, and, um, you know, those singles out there where we've been just really thinking of an ex, here it is. It's time to heal your wounds because the signals are very mixed with that ex. And somebody's trying to offer you a serious and true relationship here, Leo. Let's see. Challenges. We're overcoming those. There's all that passion. And a false city. Leo, don't hold back. This new love you can trust. Those of you in these long-term committed relationships, you're overcoming these challenges and returning to this place of passion and spicy energy with each other. All right. It's time to let the past go, whether committed or single, and allow yourself to embrace this new love energy. Okay. It is time. You are being blessed, Leo. Karmic lessons over. We're not blaming anymore, especially in committed relationships. All of this energy is finally fizzling out. There's a shift in your heart space. There's a shift in the heart space of your partner. And we're over this. We are over it. It's time to focus on our love connection and what brought us together in the first place, okay? And singles out there, this new love that just showed up or is showing up after you watch this read, it's the real thing. It's time for new love, Leo. It's absolutely time for new love. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.